last time on Dragon Ball Z. What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Omega Ruby walkthrough. And yes, I was about to do the Dragon Ball Z voice, but maybe some of you guys got a little annoyed by that. But let's go right ahead and talk about what we did in our last episode. So, it was part two of our little quote-unquote side quest. Answered a few questions, had a little tangent and all that stuff. Managed to evolve a Pokemon, you know, get a few berries and all that stuff. And we're finally here, Lily Cove City. The, uh, well, I guess you could say it's the Celadon City, the Goldenrod City of, uh, of Hoenn right here. Because you will be able to find lots and lots of things. And like it says right here on the bottom screen, yes, it's a small tour. Yes, I know, I'm breaking these in half and all that crud. It's Pokemon Omega Ruby. It's fun. It's a fun, fun game. Now, the first thing that we're going to be uncovering right here is... Uh, hold on just a sec. Yes. We're not going to be battling with uh, paralyzed Pokemon. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to heal Pokemon. And then we're going to be facing our girlfriend again because, you know, she does love to battle us every so often. She's very competitive. If you don't have a competitive woman in your life, guys... And it's not really a relationship. So let's go right ahead and see what's going on. Hey, Draven! Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, there she is. Mm, 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 mm. Looking lovely as always. Don't tell me. Are you here for the shopping too? Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, oh, oh. That is a big ass building. We're right in front of the famous Lily Cove department store after all. When I saw you, I figured maybe you'd come here to do some shopping. Same as me. Oh, look at that. Look at that. And let's see, I'm afraid, uh, oh, oh, hold on. I'm afraid I already brought, uh, bought up uh, tons of stuff, like Pokemon dolls and posters and, but, but, that's not all I've been doing, of course. I've also caught lots, uh, tons of po different Pokemon, and I've been raising them well, too. Hmm, I would like to say hmm, but she's going to get all angry at me, so I'm just going to be like, really? Gasp, you doubt me, harsh. I think the bigger question here is whether or you're raising your Pokemon right, not me. So, that settles it. Let's have a battle. Whatever you say, baby. Whatever you say. Let's test my team and see how they stack up against your passion for Pokemon, Draven. Are you sure you really want that? Because you're gonna get some. Alrighty, look at that. Mm, looking fine as always, the girlfriend wants the battle and she will be coming out with her Swellow. So there it is, throwing that Swellow out right there. Bam! What's up, Swellow? Here's Sage of the Halo, looking badass as always. That's right. I like to gamble. And here we go, dual chop for the win. Eat this chop, one chop. Eat this chop again, two chops. Crap, it, it wasn't for the win, guys. I, I, I'm sorry. And oh, she's being strategic, magic, and uh, doing that whole uh, double team attack. Okay, so I see what you're doing. I got Aerial Ace. It will not miss. Gattaca, eat that. Look at that. You see? Bam. For the win. Alrighty, so that's one down, and, uh, well, let's see. She's gonna be, uh, well, she's gonna, oh, Sir Razor, still on my team. Yes. Level 30. And here she's gonna be coming out with her Blaziken. Now, in previous iterations right here, she wouldn't have had her Pokemon evolved at all. The last time we see, this would probably be the last time we see her in, uh, what was it? Ruby, Sapphire, and uh, Emerald. But right here, she's finally evolved her starter Pokemon. Look at that. Strong as Blaziken. Alrighty, Blaziken. Let's see how you're going to match up against my Hydra 2. Let's go. Surf attack for the win. Oh, uh, yeah. Red Gyarados kicking your ass sideways. Yeah, buddy. Bam. Okay. Alrighty. Feeling good. Destroying her. Guy number two grows, or guy grows to level 41, or 42, I should say, and she's gonna be coming out with Whale Lord. Holy crud, you got a Whale Lord? Okay, I see how it is. Well, let's go back to Sage of the Halo. Yeah, we're just gonna destroy her with two Pokemon. Maybe three. I don't even know. So here we go. Sage of the Halo, what's up? And here comes that Whale Lord. I cannot believe it's been, it's, un, it's an under level Whale Lord, but she still managed to get a Whale Lord. So here we go, Leaf Blade, kicking some ass, taking names, look at that. Waylord defeated. Oh yeah, you don't want to battle that Pokemon in a, in a room, and look at that. Sage grows to level 49, and Desert Storm grows to level 42, okay, okay, I see you, and oh shoot. Okay, so she's going to be coming out with a Breloom. Alright, 
Coming out with the secret weapon. Let's go. Desert Storm. Mainly, probably because it's gonna evolve right now, I think. I don't know. I, I could have forgotten its level. But still, it's something. And here she comes out with her Breloom. Her own version of Shroom Lee right here. And let's go. Fly attack. Yeah, buddy. I'll try and hit this Pokemon right now. And it avoided the attack. So here we go. Fly attack. Bam. Oh, yeah. As quickly as it came out, as quickly as it got defeated. Look at that. Yeah, buddy. And there it goes. Defeated her. And she's like, mm hmm. She's not even speaking at all. She just looks at us. Ever loving and all that crud. Ah, this reminds me of the battle I had with you back in Route 103. You were able to become this strong because you battled me back then, right, Draven? Not really. What would you think if I said something like that? <laughs> okay. I'm actually thinking that it's time that I went back to Little Root, though. I've got a lot of different Pokemon, and my Pokedex is pretty complete, so I think I should go show my dad. Huh. Did something just sparkle in your bag? It was like the light uh, the, from that meteorite. Oh, nothing. Sorry. Just forget it. I'm probably just imagining things. You probably are. You, you're probably on that, that, that good, good stuff. Draven, what are you going to do? Are you going to collect all the gym badges and take on the Pokemon League challenge? Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am, I should say. Typical Draven. Then while you're collecting badges, I guess I'll go complete my Pokedex. I guess I'll be off then. Later, baby. My god, I got the best girl ever. Anywho, so that was a good six minutes of our lives that we used up on, on our girlfriend right here. Now, here we are in Lily Cove. So the first thing is first. Let's go ahead and talk to this guy. I'm an art dealer. I buy and sell fine art, especially paintings. I've heard the, that the museum here has some magnificent works on the exhibit. That is true. Let's go ahead and take a look at this place. It's a good looking place and all that crud. So here we are in the exhibit. Now, if you go up here, this guy is going to be like, I'm the curator of this museum of fine arts. Well, aren't they all fantastic pieces of art with history? Huh, the second floor? Well, I've been thinking about displaying something different, something more lively on the second floor. I wonder what that would be. And he will not let me. Oh, yeah, he's not going to let me right now. Uh, so, I'm assuming, I, I haven't done this, I've only done this one time in the old versions. If you win the Pokemon uh, contest, all levels, then the winning Pokemon that you use in that Pokemon contest will be having its portrait right in there. No joke, guys. I've only done it one time, uh, probably because I've never been interested in the Pokemon contest. So, I'm just going to be talking to people. Hmm, what works for a great magnific magnificence is this? I don't even know. So that is that. I don't think there's really anything that you can find right here. I'm just taking a tour. I know many of you guys want me to like complete stuff, get this walkthrough done because Pokemon Coliseum and crud, but that's gonna have to wait. And uh, that looks like a Pidgeot, but it kind of looks like something else. Alrighty, so that is that. Let's go straight to the department store because there, there's some interesting stuff that you can find there. Alrighty, so just like any other department store, they will be selling you a crap load of stuff like potions, Pokeballs, TMs, Vitamins, X, Attacks, Defense, all that stuff. So let's go right ahead and see this. Alright, so we're in the Trainer Zone. Let's go right ahead and what they sell in the Trainer Zone. Uh, I'm assuming that they're going to be selling some TMs right here. Let's see. Anything in particular? Ye no, you're, you're going to be selling some essential stuff, such as, like, you know, Pokeballs, potions, healing items, and all crud. And let's see, what do you have to sell for me? She's going to be selling a fluffy tail, poke doll, pokey toy. You know, anything to avoid any kind of Pokemon right here. And let's go straight up to the next floor right here. And this floor happens to be the battle collection. I'm assuming this is the X item area. I could be wrong. Let's see. Uh, department store. What are you looking for? Yes, I am right. You can actually buy X attacks, X, you know, the X items right here. And, well, let's see. What do you have to say right here? Let's see. Let's see. Oh, yes. Yeah, so you can actually buy uh, vitamins and minerals right here. Just to get your Pokemon stronger. It's always fun. So, let's go right ahead. And, let's see. What room is this? Come on. I'm looking for the TM place. Yes, the TM corner. Let's see what you guys have to sell. Because I have some... Uh, I have a hankering for a few TMs. Okay. So, let's see. What do you guys have? This lady right here sells you very very strong or actually ultimate moves 
Fire Blast, Thunder, Blizzard, Focus Blast. Stone Edge is a very good move, which we probably will buy. Hyper Beam and Giga Impact. So I'm going to actually buy Stone Edge. And yeah, they, they, they sell for a lot of money. Now this lady right here on the other side, she will actually sell you some strategic stuff. So let's see what she has. She has Protect, Safeguard, Reflect, and Light Scream. So those are some good moves right there if you want to up your defense. And I'm assuming there's somebody in here that will actually give you like a free TM or something. Attacking Madu, yada, yada, yada. Let's see. What are you? What about you? TMs. Oh, there used to be 50 TMs. Now there's like 100 in this game. Now, I don't know how many TMs are there in Pokemon Sword and Shield. I haven't played it yet. So the decoration room. Now this room right here, you can actually buy uh, some decorations for your uh, secret base. And let's see, talk to this lady, you'll actually buy some dolls right here. I think I have a, a nice amount of dolls, but look at how many dolls there are. And they're all $3,000 each. And let's see, talk to this lady right here. And you will have mats to actually buy. And let's see, let's go ahead and talk to this lady right here. Maybe tables, right? Let's see, tables, nope, posters. She'll actually buy you posters, or you'll actually buy posters, I should say. And this lady right here will actually give you cushions and stuff. Now, I believe the top, top floor, you will actually find a specific lady that will sell you, like, other stuff, like traps, uh, slides, what have you. Those kinds of, you know, items and all that crud. don't really have a lot of stuff to say. Now, if you talk to this guy, let's see. A clearance sale is held here on Saturdays. I can't wait for Saturday because this is the only place you can get that merchandise, which is true. So technically speaking, right now it is Thursday. So it won't be doing anything right here right now. And well, let's see. Okay, so if you're bone thirsty, let me go ahead and buy a let me buy a fresh water and see if you actually give me something. I want to know because who doesn't like free shit, right guys? Who doesn't like free shit? Okay, I'm not buying another one. Let's see. Okay, so they don't, they don't give me anything. Alright, so is there anything around here? Let's see. If you go right here, look at that. Look at that. I am a Power Ranger. The Green Ranger. I am Tommy. Okay, so I think something special happens if you go right there. Eventually, somewhere. I don't even know, guys. It's been a while since I've, like, put a lot of detail into this game. Like, learned a lot of details of, the, of this game here. Like, for instance, uh, when we go up against the legendary Pokemon, because I believe after the Sutopolis events, you'll be able to find some, uh, you'll be able to find Pokemon from different regions. Uh, you will have the national decks. And I think you'll be able to, what was it? What else? Yeah, you will be able to do just a lot more. I, I lost my train of thought right there. But right here, you'll be able to find, let's see, the move deleters right here. And let's see, what else? Go into this house. Let's see what this guy has to say. Uh, Pokemon are like partners to us humans. They certainly aren't to be used like tools. Unfortunately, there are some people who fail to understand that. Yeah, that is true. We got some people, particular people. Oh, I don't know. This person right here. Let's see. Hey, you. Don't go near the key. Uh, don't go near the cave in the cove. Why? You don't need any. You don't need a reason why. I'm an adult, so just listen to me. Well, I remember my parents saying that to me, and. That never turned out well. When it gets right down to it, the same way suits uh, suits suit me per uh, perfectly. A crisp breeze suits the sea, and you, a berry suits you to the T. Why should I, or why should that be so? And we got ourselves a peck of berry, which of course he'll give us a he'll actually give us, give us a berry every single day. So that's a that's a nice 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 thing right there. And of course you can use your acro bike right here just to get back up and hold on. Just a sec. Let's see what these guys have to say. Foo 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 foo. We finished mo moving more loot into our secret hideout today. <laughs> Who are you? I was just talking to myself. Oh, you were. I have no idea what the boss is thinking. I'm still here though. To me, being here with Team Magma is the only chance I have to make a real connection with someone. Oh damn. So he's lonely. He is lonely, lonely, lonely. Okay, so uh, eventually we might see him again. And uh, let's see. If you talk to this guy, he'll be like, hmm, you know uh, a peculiar cave in this, this cove? It was a natural formation, but then Team Magma, uh, or Team Magma, that Team Magma lot came uh, along and made their renovations. They say they're Team Magma for humanity, but to us, they're, uh, they're just a big plan. Oh, okay, well, that is true. That is very, very true. 
And let's see, if you go ahead and talk to this guy... Hmm, what? Let me, uh, be... Uh, I'm still half asleep. Here, just take this. And we get ourselves a TM44, which is rest. Very good move to heal your Pokemon and all that crud, too. And let's see, uh, what I heard is that some regions, they wake up Pokemon with some of these. And we got ourselves a Poke Flute for our base. I guess this flute is like a alarm clock for Pokemon. That is true. I did wake up a uh, tank with that kind of stuff. Alrighty, so let's see. Uh, well, what else can you find around here? Let's see. There are specific Pokemon you can actually find, you know, for the fishing and all that crud. And let's see. This is actually the cave that they were talking about. We will be heading in there in the next episode just to show you guys what these guys were talking about with, uh, you know, the formation and all that stuff. You can't really go anywhere else because, there, as you can see, there's some Whalmer blocking the way to the next route. There, Whalmer! Now leap out of the water. Who are you? You're getting in the way of my training, so get lost! Okay, alright, you'll never shoot, man. Yeah, damn. Getting all angry at me? I'm just 10 years old, man! In this game. Now, let's see, if there's anything else that you can find right here, I don't even know. Let's see, you can break these boulders and find some cool shit. Probably some rare Pokemon as well. And there is a Pokeball right there near the area, so let's just go ahead and uh, take care of that. As you can see, you got two older people right here. Even as we grow old and wrinkle, the sea remains forever young with the vivid brilliance of life. <laughs> and what does the old lady have to say? It was 60 years ago that my husband proposed to me here. The sea remains as beautiful as ever. <laughs> okay, so that's a lovely couple right there. Good for you, good for you. Good for you. A long-lasting marriage right there. And here we go. Found ourselves a Max Repel. You don't normally find that. And let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, you could sit on the bench right here too. And there's, wait, hold on. There might be something right here, right? No, there's nothing right here. And as you can probably, as you can probably tell, look at that, uh, a, a light tower right there. Pretty cool stuff. And let's just go ahead and take this off. And well, let's go ahead and sit right there. Look at that. That's some nice stuff right there, guys. Look at that. The cloud is moving ever so gently. We're just patient and whatever, you know that kind of stuff. Anywho, guys, uh, moving on. Uh, in the last episode, I said that I was going to talk about like my goals for this year. Like, of course, we weren't predicting the whole coronavirus to hit us like this. And yeah, we're probably still quarantined. Uh, whatever state, like, if you guys are in different states that are open, congratulations. Have fun. Uh, be safe out there. Me right here, I'm still, you know, quarantined and all that crud. But I do have goals for my channel right here ever since, you know, I found out that we're close to 7,000 subscribers. And hopefully by the time I drop this video right here, we might even hit 7,000 subscribers. Who knows? It's uh, May 14th. I'm currently at 6,950. Lexi, I was at Seaside Inn enjoying a relaxing stews to the sound of waves. When someone stole my Pokemon, who is the abductor? I don't know. Team Magma. Is it Team Magma? I don't even know. Let's find out. We should find out. I don't know. Uh, this is the T the Lily Cove Motel right here. So let's go right ahead and uh, talk to people. And let's see. This oh, it's pretty empty right now. So if you talk to this guy, he's just like, "What? Hey, down in front, I can't see the TV." Okay. Uh, let's see. So they doubled the guests by using Pokemon as attractions. Hmm. Well, maybe I could uh, make a cute Pokemon or motel mascot. I wonder if that will attract more guests to stay with us. Eventually that will happen. Oh, sorry, sorry. I was absorbed in watching TV. Since that Team Magma came into town, the tours have been staying away. Oh, damn. So once you defeat Team Magma, then yeah, you'll be seeing a lot more tours around here and all that crud. And, well, there's not really a lot of stuff that you can find right here. I'm being a little too specific with this stuff. Now, like what I was saying, uh, we're about to hit 7,000 7, subscribers, guys. The goal, you know, the main, like the dream you know, is hitting 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. We have seven months left, guys. I'm kind of hoping that we can. I'm looking at Social Blade. They're saying that 9,000. But if you guys can share this channel and all that stuff, that'd be great because more videos will be coming out. And as you can see right here, this is, what is it? Oh, the Contest Spectacular Hall. Bring your friends, come on, on all, and all that stuff. This is actually where you, this is the big, big place where you can actually win it all and all that stuff. 
I think you go by levels. A great variety of Pokemon have gathered to show off how cute or tough they are in a contest spectacular. Me, I love a great variety of Pokemon, so my heart is pounding with anticipation. That is good. Alrighty, so let's see. What is this house? I think you can find... Oh, look at that. They're playing the Nintendo D uh, 3DS. And let's see. Uh, when my wife gave birth to quadruplets, you bet I was shocked. But now, seeing them play together, it makes me happy. Yeah, quadruplets. Holy crud. I feel bad for those who have quadruplets. Cause that's like four babies in a row. Now, I'm just saying this. If ever I have like twins, triplets, or quadruplets, tie my tubes. Seriously, tie my tubes. I'm done. <laughs> oh, my... Oh my my, are you traveling alone? But you're so young, good for you. I'm sure my kids uh, will learn a thing for, uh, or two from you. Me, I'm a Pokeblock master. If I get uh, if I get just a little serious, why I can connect uh, or concoct great Pokeblocks. Would you like to learn from me, a Pokeblock master? Heck yes. Oh good, you're a smart soul. Uh, you're a smart soul. This is a bit long, so listen up. Are you ready? If you want to make great Pokeblocks, you should choose berries with the same color, if possible. Don't forget that. A good Pokeblock improves the condition of your Pokemon a lot, so it's very useful. And this is also important. If you blend rare berries with the same color, it's more likely that you'll get a great Pokeblocks. And another thing, one more thing. There are rare Pokeblocks called uh, Rainbow Pokeblocks. You have to make these uh, with all different colored berries. It's hard to make them, but they improve all conditions at once. So if you like that, it's worth making them. That's about all you need to know to make good Pokeblocks. If everyone had Pokemon, uh, they love berries, Pokeblocks, and a loving family, the world would be a much happier place. Don't give up, dear. Okay, alrighty. So I think I've already got the cheat for Pokeblocks and all that stuff. And... Well, let's get the heck out of here because, of course, it's already been 20 minutes of me doing nothing except one battle with the girlfriend. And uh, as you can see right here, this is the uh, Lily Cove City Harbor where you'll find the SS uh, title, which is not in use right now. And that is pretty much it right here, guys. Uh, I think I've already talked to you about... Well, I've already shown you everything I needed to show you. But like I said, guys, 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year is a goal. I'm, I'm going to be trying the best I can to come out with all these walkthroughs. Last episode, I've already told you guys... Pokemon Col Coliseum is a for sure thing. I'm about to be done with Liquid Crystal. Pokemon Black might be done by next month. So, I'm excited. So, yeah. Help me out, guys. And more content will be coming out along the way. So, again, hope all of you guys are safe out there with this whole pandemic stuff. Hopefully, we get out of this soon. And, uh, yeah, stay tuned. More episodes are on the way. See you guys.